What is going on guys? We are back playing some more surviving with immersive engineering. Now I'm really ready to just jump into building today because we're making the excavator. I'm ready. I'm hyped. I'm pumped. I'm just select E on the multiple choice because I am all of the above. I'm ready to go on this thing because I spend so much time in this world mining and gathering resources to actually make things. And it's just, it's probably 90% of the time that I am playing in this world right here. I am mining. So I'm excited to say the least that I will have something to actually do that for me. Um, but I do have a little bit of an analogy to give you guys because, you know, whenever you're making a multi-block structure um, with immersive engineering, of course, you're getting a bunch of iron. And if we take a look at my inventory right now, we have a lot of iron and steel. And of course, steel is just gathering iron and then sitting and waiting for it to be made into steel. But uh, that makes it even more of a, you know, a commitment to actually gathering resources. But um, you know, when, when I'm making the excavator, of course, it's a multi-block structure and I kind of liken it to that of a Prius or, you know, a Tesla or whatever electric car you want to get. If you're a high roller, a Tesla, if you're, you know, if you're someone who got one a while ago, a Prius, all that good stuff. I don't know any others, so I'm just kind of going with those. But, um, it's kind of like you invest now to save money later. I don't even know if you save that much money, but it's whole, the whole, like, you know, you pay money up front and you save more in the long run. So I invested maybe three hours literally just mining, like actually just mining this iron up um, to, to get everything set up. And so I'm investing three hours of my time so that later on, I don't have to invest as much. And I don't know how long or how many episodes of this series it's gonna take to pay off, but hopefully it does. So yeah, I spent like three hours gathering the iron. And if we look over here, you can see, I didn't get that many other resources. I, I didn't notice anything really other than some diamond and some redstone and obviously I had a lot of coal because I had to make a bunch of coal coke but other than that I didn't get much but if we look up here you can see all the stone that I got I pretty much cooked down all of the stone that I got or all the cobblestone I cooked it down because I just kind of threw it in one of these chests and that's pretty much what I did down in the mine I just did a bunch of strip mining and watched like four episodes of criminal mines because you know why not dual monitors for the win of course um but yeah, it was it was rough. I went through like four diamond picks, non-enchanted, of course. I got 45 levels now, so that's a plus. Um, you know, it's just it's been it's been a long road to get here. I will tell you that. So we are finally gonna get this thing done. So you already saw my inventory, but you know we got a lot of stuff in here and we are ready to go. We just gotta start making these things. So our best friend right over here, this crafting bench, we are just gonna be we're gonna be over here for a while. So get some snacks ready just hunker down because we're going at it so i did some calculations being the nerd i am on the other screen and kind of did did the math out it roughly takes like i would if you were going to set this thing up i would probably tell you to get like 400 pieces of iron uh, or ingots whatever you want to call it so of course you know if you were going to be using the crusher setup you'd only need to get 200 ore and then it would double so that is you know helping you out a little bit but uh, you need roughly 400 ingots and that's just to set up the excavator itself. There are a couple other accoutrements or whatever you want to call it that we're going to set up. I don't even know if that word works, but it just, it sounds fancy. So, you know, uh, but I calculated that I myself, and I already have some blocks done from previous projects. I am going to need 250 steel, roughly 40 copper, 80 iron and four electrum. So, of course, we, we have pretty much the bare minimum on steel. I actually hope we have enough. We definitely should, because it came out to about 3.85 stacks. But, you know, we got a lot of extra iron. Um, so we're pretty good. I was starting out, I was planning on doing the arc furnace today, and that, that was going to take like 550 iron. So I gave up on that. But, uh, you know, the excavator is the next best thing. So to start out, we are going to, we should actually look at the recipes first. Um, so we have the excavator open right here. We're actually on the last page, so we got to go back to this. So we'll give you a brief overview of what's going on here first. So the excavator is kind of like a two block structure. You have the initial like mount for, or what you would call the excavator itself. And you kind of build that. That's what's going on right here. Let's just, let's jump up. So this is the, the mount structure, not too bad. It's got a lot of heavy engineering blocks, which are a little rough, but you know, it looks, it looks pretty cool. And then if we, you know, flip over to the next page, also I want to point out it does use a, a buttload. And I, I am not known for using the word 
a well using the term a buttload a lot but like this thing uses a buttload of power compared to what we're getting right here which is like 300 rf per tick this thing will absolutely kill my power so we'll, we'll get to that later but uh it uses 40 96 rf per tick but uh the next portion is the wheel and this is pretty much what's gonna you know have the buckets that allegedly kind of carry the stuff up to you and dump it out into the main system and so it's held on uh by the main system and just rotates around so if we flip it you can see this is like the buckets you kind of get the buckets going here and these you can actually see the ores that it's carrying up in these and they just keep going around and dump it so then the thing as a whole is right here we can take a look looks pretty legit pretty awesome uh you know i don't know if it's worth three hours but you know it looks okay so you can see this is kind of mounted on here now you can make one portion of it line up the second but you actually need to complete both of them as a whole um you know clicking on it with the hammer so just keep that in mind when you're setting it up so uh you can see this just kind of describes how it goes about digging up things it can last for 144 days but they kind of decreases over time so you get a lot of ore and we'll get into the whole ore aspect of it later because it's pretty it's pretty intense but i keep forgetting we need to do a brief overview of what the blocks are so we need 12 blocks of steel nine light engineering blocks 13 heavy engineering blocks and three steel scaffolding so i need to take a brief look at my other monitor so we're doing the 12 blocks of steel that's pretty simple to do this this is abs this just sucks up steel so we got seven oh my gosh this is actually heartbreaking it is absolutely heartbreaking to look at oh my god this is literally hours of work here guys i'm taking away hours of my time and keep in mind it's like six in the morning right now so i take hours of my time away at like an obscure portion of my day to just gather stuff to make this stupid excavator uh now we need eight light engineering blocks so eight divided by two so we need four sets four sets of light engineering blocks pretty sure i remember how to make these so we're gonna need if we need four sets of these we're gonna need eight of these so you know what let's just let's streamline the process right here doing some solid division please don't let me be wrong with this math this is definitely right that's definitely correct 100 percent. i'm calling it 100 percent. that sounded so stupid okay so there we go light engineering blocks and we should be good on that front so we now we get to use up this extra light engineering block luckily for me they use an odd number of these heavy engineering blocks and along with that they use an odd number of the light engineering blocks so it gave me a good use for you know having one extra from the other project of course you know next project i'm gonna have another one left over so it's you know it's kind of redundant so whatever um but now we need 13 heavy engineering blocks so we need six sets because we only need to make 12. so it's essentially the same thing except we are going to need two pistons per uh along with that we can't just get away with using you know some more copper so i'm trying to think if we need six sets so we need to actually make 12 pistons which is not fun oh you know what prime amount of wood we are so good guys we're experts at this game so we got the 12 pistons right there and now we got to use the steel to make some of these bad boys same thing as before except we use steel and copper and these should be in the same boat as the pistons i believe uh, just because of we're using two for each one and it's a really sensitive subject or you know a sensitive thing to actually craft stuff with steel mainly just because if i mess up i'm absolutely torched i'm just i'm so torched because it takes so long for each thing of steel to get created and it's just it's rough so i honestly i should probably be looking but i'm trying to kind of show off to you guys so you know oh gosh what's the center block is it supposed to be electrum yes it is okay so we got that going for us so now we're gonna we're gonna make all of these down Oh, whoops, there we go. I don't know why I put so much steel in the corners. I'm, I'm atrocious at counting. Um, now, we need three steel scaffolding, but we already have three, so we can just pocket that, so that's good to go. Now, we're gonna need, for the wheel, we need nine blocks of steel, so we get to just, oh, God, this is hard to watch. Okay. Oh, you know what? 
It looks like I, I was very bad at counting. Looks like I was atrocious at counting. I guess I did my math wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I did my math wrong, unless I'm just doing this wrong completely. But, yeah, I think we should be okay, because if we take a look at this, so I got eight blocks right here, we got six pocketed right there, but luckily for us, I was smart, so we can come over here, we can grab this leftover coke, and you can see I've been, I just, these are all filled up with creosote, literally all of these are filled up with creosote, so, you know, we got, we got a lot of that pocketed away, but I have been making extra steel, and of course now we get to throw some more in here because, you know, we can always use more steel. We're always going to need more steel. I should probably automate that, honestly, but no. Hindsight's 2020, and being lazy is 10 out of 10. So we need one more block, and we should be good. And it looks like we actually might be a little short for the steel scaffolding. Actually, I think we should be okay. So we are going to use these steel fences along with some steel over here to make the scaffolding and so it actually does look like we are going to be a little bit short but of course the steel is cooking down over there and you know my atrocious math aside there is one other thing that we actually should be doing before we set this up so if we go to immersive engineering we can see that there is this core sample drill right here and if you guys don't know, the core sample drill is what you're going to use to determine, and yes, I do know this is kind of screwing up what we're going to be doing for this whole process. So, you know, we are going to have to make some more light engineering blocks. We can do that right now real quick, just because, you know, screw it. We'll do it. I'm not scared. So we actually only need to make one set. It's pretty easy to do. I like these because they don't use steel. Yes. Okay. So... Yeah, we're still good on the steel scaffolding. So everything should be okay. So we're going to take this puppy and we're going to break this block right here. And we're going to, I don't want to jump up there. We're going to make a couple more Electrum wires. And we actually do need to cook down some of this clay. Because we are going to be going outside, hooking this thing up. It needs some power. And it is going to tell us what is going on down in the ground. Now, one thing you guys might think is like, oh yeah, I know what it is, I know what's going on down there. You don't. I'm telling you, you don't. And the reason is because when you're looking for veins in immersive engineering, it is not like just going down and digging up stuff like iron or whatnot. They're actually invisible to us, and the game has to determine where they are. And so, uh, you actually have to use this if you want to determine where there are veins. And of course, you can. it's a hit or miss, there could be no veins. Was that all four of them? Yes, it was. So you kind of got to use this thing, and it doesn't take super long to work and do its thing. It's pretty quick. So we got some wire, some of that. So we should be good to go now while our steel is cooking down out there, doing a good job. We're going to need actually a good amount of steel, so it's unfortunate. Yeah, well, it can do its thing. So we're going to come out here. It's relatively flat, and it's kind of close. So we, we have a lot of different chunks out here. And, you know, I could use my F7 key to kind of see what's going on with the chunks, but I don't feel like just getting a bunch of gray walls around me eventually because there's a lot of settings I have to jump through for that. So we're just kind of going to eyeball it on the map and we'll just, we'll go like, we'll go for this chunk and we'll go for this chunk like right, right here, right here, whatever. So we're going to throw this thing down. It's, uh, it's kind of big, but you don't need a multi-block structure for it. We're going to hook up a cable to this, and you can get power in on any of these sides going over here. And we're going to hook it up over here, and I don't actually know. I feel like it's going to be obstructing the view. Let's get a... Oh, gosh darn it, guys. That would have been so nice. So I feel like that's... Let's get rid of this block down here and see if we can do this. This, is, this looks pretty gross, but, you know. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? You're getting moved. You're getting moved. Line it up right here. I don't. I just absolutely don't have a care in the world what chunk you're in. We just get, we got to show the people. There we go. Okay, it's getting power now. I don't know how fast this drains power, but you can see it's got a nice animation. It is drilling to get a core sample, and if we right click on it, we can see the progress. And it also tells us what chunk it's in. So you know, if I you know just kind of wanted to mark this out with coordinates, I don't know why you would, but you know if you did. You don't want to you don't want to use multiple chunks twice. Obviously, you know, once you mine through one, you're going to want to go to a different one. 
uh, but we'll see what this thing has to offer. So it's 90% done, it's gotta bring it back up, and it found no minerals. We just got gypped, guys. So this one found absolutely no minerals. So we'll see if we can get a little bit luckier. Um, hmm. Let's see if it's the same one right up here. We can do pretty easy checks to see if this is the same chunk. So if we wanna open chat, we can see. No, it is not the same chunk. So if we can wire this, we should be in good shape. I'm trying to think of the best way to wire this. Will this have an obstructed view? I think it might. No, it doesn't. How does that? How does that not obstruct the view? You know what? Whatever. I we you know it's what it's whatever. Not even mad. It's working. It's going. This could be dr absolutely draining our power for all I know right now. I have no idea, but there are a bunch of different deposits we can get. I think we can actually go back in here and it should be somewhere in here. I'm not sure. There's somewhere in here that can give right here mineral deposits. So you can. Uh, it says special machine. This is the special machine. It uses 40 RF per tick, 60 or 600 ticks, and you can see that there's these are the different mineral deposits. So you got all these different ones going on in here, all these different options. And if you're playing with other mods, there will be other mods available. Please, please. Okay, so this has an iron vein right here. So it's got 100% integrity that will go down as we actually use it up. And I think we should be able to look back in here and see what an iron vein will get us. So iron is a mineral vein that can be found in any dimension. It consists of one third nickel ore and two thirds iron ore. Look at that rounding right there, boys. Um, but that's great because we use a bunch of iron ore. So I'm actually really happy to find that out. So we can leave this here for now. We can just kind of like detach it. I don't know why I'm using a sword. I just have no idea. We can kind of detach it for now. Uh, I don't know if it burns through power after it's already run, but uh, we can come back here and hopefully our steel is done. You can see how long it takes to actually get the steel. It's so just atrocious. So we'll see if we have enough right now to make it. I honestly, I doubt we do, but you know, we'll see. And we can actually start constructing the multi-block soon. So the blocks are fine. We just need more steel scaffolding. So we can get away with actually making two right now uh, because we do have these left over. But then we're left with the awkward situation where we don't, we have one too few fences. So we got to burn through a bunch of steel just to make the fences. So we're three short here. So we got a little bit screwed over by using that. And I don't think we have any extra fences laying around around here. Yeah, no, we don't. So that's unfortunate, but hopefully we have enough Coke to do this, I should probably dump these buckets out, but you can see like these are all full. Whoa, whoa, that one only has 8,000. We're cooking, boys, we're cooking. Okay, so we'll just keep that in there. We only need a couple more pieces from these, so we'll just, we'll get that out and put that there. And I don't know why I would ever use all this, but you know, if we ever wanna light a bunch of stuff on fire, we know where to go, so we're gonna need four more to actually make the fences and then three more on top of that so we need seven more right now it's a little rough but we should be able to start constructing the main portion of this so you want to make sure that the center of the wheel is in the chunk that you just analyzed so right here is where we're going to want the center of the wheel i'm going to dig down one or two so we know where that has to go and i'm going to clear this out a little bit because you do need some room for this it is a relatively large multi-block structure, and I'm trying to figure out what chunk this is in. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I'm probably gonna regret. So we're gonna, is it F7? I, I actually know we're not gonna hit that. We're not gonna do it. It can analyze where the chunks are, but so right here is where the center of the excavator or where the center of the bucket portion of the excavator needs to be. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna get back to the excavator. And we're going to start building this thing. So we got to get these blocks all out in our inventory. And we can just start stacking these. It doesn't really matter. Oh, you know what? It is such a bad time to start building. It's becoming nighttime. You know what? We're going to have to go sleep, boys. We're going to have to go sleep. And then we can start building. And how is this doing? I mean, it's going. It's going. It's not, it's not the best. It's a little slow. It's very slow. I don't know why I didn't make a second one. I'm regretting it more and more as you know the the steel comes in. 
I'm realizing that I should have made a second one, but then it's just becoming like, just like I should have moved it up here so that I don't have to keep running back and forth. I should have made a second one, but now it's just kind of, if I were to do it, I'd be caving in. So I'm sticking to my guns. Now this should be good enough to get us what we actually need. So we can start building and then we run out of blocks. We can come back because we actually only need like three or four more. So this is gonna be the center block over here and we gotta get this manual out again and just kinda of organize the inventory a little bit. So bring this down to the first level and we'll build it in this direction because we, I don't feel like, I feel like, yeah, we got some more room over here. So we'll just build it like this right here. So let's get a nice vertical view. So if we're looking at it like this and let's bring it up one level. So the center of this kind of plus sign right here that we have going, that is where we are going to have the center of the actual block or of the, I don't even know what you'd call it, of just kind of like the scoop, the, you know, circular portion of it, whatever you want to call that. So we're going to want this engineering block to be right here. The light engineering blocks are going to go like this. And let's just get a general idea. So it's only on one side. And then we line this side like this and like that. And then the rest would be a block of steel there and light engineering block directly across from this and the rest of its blocks of steel so I think it's like that so that should be good and now we're on to the second layer so this one is going to be using a significantly larger amount of light engineering blocks so light heavy light 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 I believe this side was entirely heavy or there were three heavies yep three of those and got blocks of steel right here I believe that was a block of steel I'm so bad at remembering what these designs are and of course I have my calculations up on the other monitor so you know we can't really do much with that so another light engineering block here block of steel scaffolding right along there and we are definitely not gonna be able to run power from there so we're gonna have to do something about that then two of the heavy engineering blocks last two that we got over there light engineering block to complete the plus sign put this here and then I suspect that these two are just steel but we should check yes so those this should be good let's hope it's good we can get out our engineering hammer click it up real nice so there we go you can see this is the main portion of it looking very fancy we are without a wheel right here but you can see this is where the wheel is supposed to go and we can attach that and of course we can use this as kind of like a guide as to where to start but of course like I said we're gonna need to break one block in this structure and reform it all together as a whole so our steel should be done but I want to point out this is where stuff is going to be coming out so you could just put your ender chest here like I'm going to so I don't know if I mentioned this but the reason I'm going to be using an ender chest is of course we're moving this around eventually if we want to change what we're getting as resources or whatnot we're gonna to have to take it apart and reassemble it and it looks like we are gonna need one more piece yeah we're gonna need one more piece of steel but of course we're gonna be disassembling this and moving it around every once in a while to get different resources or of course when we go through an entire vein and so I don't feel like bringing that all the way back using conveyor belts so the only other really effective method of transportation for it is the ender chest so I don't really know if I'm gonna use the ender chest for anything else so I was just like you know what we'll use it for this so that should be good you obviously have your ability to turn it off with a redstone signal so you can throw a lever on there because this thing does burn through power and yeah that's uh that's about it you can attach the power over here you got three different inputs they just kind of look like plugs honestly but um yeah we don't actually have power for it right now i also don't know if i mentioned this but i do not have power for it we are generating like roughly 200 to 300 rf per tick and that is not nearly enough so eventually I will make generation power generation just for that probably diesel generators because that's really the only effective way of creating power generation for it but you know that's gonna be next episode or some point in the future so you guys got that to look forward to and now we can complete this and we will be good to go so I'm gonna leave it kind of finished off for now and then we'll break it once I'm done so we get to take a look at let's go to the next page at this thing let's get back to the regular view so 
it looks like it is right here. Oh my gosh. Go back up and just just stop. Okay, so it looks like it is going to be it was at 7 across and then it's going to go down by 2. So we're going to put this block in the center and we're going to have to clear out some we're going to have to clear out a good amount of space here uh, just to kind of get working so we can get the wheel going in here. So we're going to put scaffolding up here. Whoops. Scaffolding will go there eventually, but not yet. So we're going to put it there, and let's clear this out too. Keep it nice and slanted or else my OCD is going to go crazy. So that should be, yeah, that's nice. So then we need to put scaffolding like this, and then scaffolding, I want to say like this. And then the very bottom block should just be one, yeah. So that should go right here. And then we get to do the same thing over here. So put a double block and then this. And then right here is this block. And below that should be that. And then we got to get on top of here and do the same thing again. So I hope I'm not completely screwing this up. Nope, it looks like I have just enough blocks, so we must be doing it correctly. And like that. So that should be the wheel. You can see it makes it a pretty large multi block structure. If you're building it as one entire thing, and we'll see what that looks like in a second. So, of course, if we were to like click on this with the engineering hammer, nothing happens. If we were to click on this with the engineering hammer, nothing happens. Pretty sure you could form this alone too, but you need to click on like the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to break, we'll just break this corner block right here. Pick it up, put it back down, and you can see how big the structure actually is. It's multi-block, and you can build this from the start. I just wanted to show you guys a different example of, you know, building the two pieces separately. Now we come over here and click it again. It reforms, and we now have these scoops that are running right here. You can see them running through the ground and so they will rotate in a clockwise fashion and you'll actually be able to see this stuff getting scooped up and then when it gets right up here it'll dump them out when it's at right at the very top and then of course it will be fed out the back right over here so that is the excavator guys i actually like i said don't have enough power to run it today but next episode we will be working on getting the power to run it and hopefully we'll be able to see it in action. It is really awesome to watch work. I don't think it's super loud, but on the off chance it is, we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing with that because it's really close to the base. But uh, thanks for watching guys. There was a lot of rambling today, so I hope you guys didn't mind that. But if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and I will talk to you guys later.